In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six circle options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the main headline comes, then along with this uh, six options, we can see here with the icon and with the shadow effect I have created. And then I have added these rectangles with different color combination. And I've just named that as option one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then for each option, you can just add the title and the detailed text. So I've created two slides, one with animation and other without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gradient fill background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. You can see here, then shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. I'm going to rotate this shape. So hold the alt key on your keyboard and press right arrow key two times so you end up getting a, a rotation something like this and then i'm going to duplicate this again press ctrl d to duplicate maybe i'll just change the color so exactly you know what i'm trying to do then align center align middle and again i'm going to rotate it by pressing the holding the alt and the three times i'm going to press the right arrow key one two and three maybe four times i need to do it Again, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And again, I'm just going to make it four times, something like this. So you can see here, I'm, I've got a shape, something like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all the shapes by pressing Ctrl A. You can see here, then go to the shape format, merge shapes, and then I'm just going to select fragment. All right then inside one i'm just going to select and delete this one you can see here something like this so we end up getting a shape like this now let's change the color of each uh, rectangle so i'm just going to select this format shape and then you can just choose any color of your choice maybe i'm just giving some random colors here which i've used uh, before so you can see here i'm just choosing some different color combinations it's up to you any color of your choice also you can just select it and then for this i'm just going to select maybe this color all right so you can see here uh, the colors has been changed now it's time to add the the circles or the oval shape so go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape you can see here you have to make sure that the star which is visible should not be visible once you place the option okay or the circle so align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline now i'm going to uh, change the color uh, with some gradient fill so select the gradient fill and here i'm just going to choose only two colors so one color i'm going to choose maybe a kind of a white and the other you can just choose any a gray color something like this all right and then make sure it is linear and then you can just choose maybe a right or left and then i'm just going to duplicate this all right so just press ctrl d to duplicate and then you can see here uh, I'm just going to reduce the size of this so hold the shift key reduce the size and then I'm just going to place on top of this only the change I'm going to do the direction I'm going to just change it from this one you can see here the linear left so it looks something like this and then I'm just going to place it here all right so it got you can see here it's got a 3d look you can see here something like this now I'm going to select both of this. You can see here, hold the shift key, select the other one also, press Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm going to add for each rectangle. First of all, I'm going to reduce the size. So hold the shift key and reduce the size. You can see here, maybe this much size. And then I'm just going to place it here. All right. 
maybe i'll increase it a little bit just hold the shift key and increase it you can see here something like this and then press ctrl d and add for each option you can see here ctrl d again just add for this and two left so again let me just add it for these two also and then just uh, take some time to align it properly now let's give some shadow effect for all these circles so i'm just going to select by holding the shift key and then go to the effects shadow from the presets i'm going to select uh, this one which is outer offset bottom right and then increase the distance maybe eight and then even increase the blur size also and for this i'm just going to select and then go to the effects shadow i'm going to select from center you can see here and increase the size something like this so i have just aligned the objects and then i'm going to insert the icons go to insert icons and you can just choose any icons uh, of your choice it's taking some time okay let me just choose uh, some icons you can see here i'm just choosing some icons maybe i'm going to choose six icons some random icons i have selected and then just bring this aside press ctrl z and then bring this aside here and and height i'm going to make it as 0.5 height and width and here what i'm going to do is graphic fill i'm going to give some gray color only all right so then what you need to do just add the icons on top of each circle you can see here so this is just i'm just adding on top of each circle so for this i'm going to add it here this one will come here and then this will come here so once this is done what we can do is we can add some detailed text along with the title and one main title also we can add it here now let's add the main title here so go to insert text box and then i'm just going to say headline and just choose any font of your choice maybe i'm just going to choose roboto center align increase the size sorry make it bold and then just increase the size you can see here and this one i'm just going to make it a dark gray color and put it in the center and then i'm just going to add the detail option so first of all your title again i'm going to choose the same font which is roboto and reduce the size make it bold and you can choose the color which we have used for this you can see here and then i can just go to insert text box i can add detail text add detail text here and if you want you can just add few more detail text also or i can just simply delete this equals lorem within brackets one let me just put equal sign and then just press the enter key so i got this text let me just delete some unwanted text delete it and this one again i'm going to make it a gray reduce the font size and then just increase it and then just place it here so this is my the title and text and then you can just group this press ctrl d to duplicate and then add it for each option and then just select this and with the help of the eyedropper i'm just going to change the color so like this you need to just copy it for the all for all the options so you can see here i have added all the title and the detail text as well as i have just add the option number here one two three four five and six and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this as well as uh, this okay and press ctrl g to group it so i'm just selecting this hold the shift key and the icon and ctrl g to group it so just do it for all the options so that it will help us 
to do the animation so this is the last one you can see here and then i'm going to select this and this option also press ctrl g so it comes front not a problem again ctrl g you can see here this as well as this ctrl g to group it i'm just using the shift key okay to select multiple objects press ctrl g now i'm just going to select sorry this also i need to just do it ctrl g then i'm going to select all these options and then go to the format shape and then send to back so you can see here uh, our design is ready now it's time to add the animation effects so to add the animation let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i'm going to select this add animation more entrance effect i'm going to select basic zoom okay it comes something like this you can see here and then simultaneously i'm just going to select one by one you can see here i can just hold the shift key select all and then i'm going to give the same animation effect which is basic zoom so it comes and then this should happen maybe after previous if i play it comes something like this and then i'm going to select these options you can see here and then any option you can just go to the more intense effects maybe i can just select you can see a center resolve float down or grow and shrink so i'm sorry grow and turn i'm going to select this and click ok and this should happen again after previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this and once this is done you can select these options add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to select stretch click ok and this one should be from left okay and this should also happen after previous or on click depending on your requirement so double click the animation painter i'm just going to select this one one by one you can see here all the animations so only these three animations which is on the left side it should start from left okay sorry from right so it comes something like this and this also should happen with previous okay and let's play here how it looks so you can see here it comes something like this